Hmm. Pretty sure I'm supposed to have something in this general area. This is supposed to be on the uh, windshield. Thank you, nice hot Florida sun, for baking the adhesive off the little metal piece here and, um, you know, doing a mirror delete for me. Appreciate that. I should probably put this back on the car. Kind of need this to, you know, see behind me, sort of. I mean, I, mean, I guess I could still drive without it, but I think it's kind of illegal, to be totally honest with you. I'm not really sure. Never really looked into it, but even if it's not, this is still handy to have, so I can kind of sort of see what's behind me. Yeah. Since it's a beautiful day today, and it's not too ungodly hot, might as well put the mirror back on the Crown Victoria. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. What do you guys think? You probably have one of those, right? Anyway, I picked this up not too long ago, and uh, I guess we'll see if it works. I guess the little packet there is a little bit of a cleaner, is, you know, according to what it says there, obviously. And then you got a little tube of adhesive. I'm gonna make the general assumption that I probably need to clean that. Well, I don't know if you can see the reflection or not. Eh, eh. Maybe you can see it. But there is a little dirty area right there. I don't know what this is from, but up here that um, I probably need to clean off on the inside. And then it's smart if you mark up the outside of the window so you can see where the mirror little tab piece is supposed to go when you're actually adhering it to the glass. So basically, according to the instructions on this, you have to get the little metal button out of there, make sure that it's facing the right way because it does have a unique shape. Um, clean the glass on the inside. Of course, you want to mark the outside to show where the mirror is. And then um, I guess you clean it with the little, the little towelette thingy, and then you put a drop of adhesive on the metal button and attach the metal button to the glass. And then, Probably, I guess they say 30 minutes later, you can put the mirror back on. So we will see how this goes. First things first, got myself a paint marker and um, I drew all over the outside of the windshield so I could see where the mirror is supposed to go when I go to actually put it on, I guess the button itself on on the inside after I scrape off all the residue and clean it up. As you guys already know, I have an additional added complicator with this vehicle because I have a windshield light that has been uh, mounted in here. All right, so I went ahead and pulled the two screws that holds that light on. They're down here, but there you go. Uh, that's why we marked it from the outside. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and clean this part of the windshield off because there's still residue on the inside. Maybe, maybe I'll clean this thing off too. I have no idea what the fire department had stuck here, but... I don't see why they would need like a camera system or anything, so who knows what they had stuck there. It'd be kind of interesting to find out. I still really don't know what this vehicle was used for. So if there happens to be anybody out there from uh, Hillsborough County Fire Rescue that actually knows what this basically lightly marked Crown Vic was used for, it'd be kind of interesting to find out, because I don't know if these were like fire inspectors or or what, but, you know, they didn't, they weren't like fully decked out. They just had... You know, just these interior lights, uh, a couple of markings on the door, and fire rescue on the front and the back. And that was pretty much it. Uh, I know that they're like chief vehicles or whatever, or usually pickup trucks, and they're fully decked out with a light bar and everything. But this thing was just kind of like poorly marked. So I don't know if it was like an administrative vehicle or somebody way up in the food chain or what it was, or some sort of fire investigator. I have no idea. But it would be kind of interesting to know what on earth was stuck to the windshield there. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll get this thing cleaned up and then get the uh, button mounted and see if we can't get the mirror back on. Oh, and I'm sure there's some lighting installer somewhere right now cursing me for letting it kind of rest on the dash like that and be hanging by the cord. Yeah. I'm from Florida. I can't help it. Well, not originally, but I've been here long enough to be ruined. So due to the curvature of the windshield, what I've decided to do is come at this from the side to kind of follow the curve of the windshield, which makes it a little bit harder, but I guess if I really wanted to, I could kind of squeeze this razor blade and make it match the curve, but I don't want to scratch the glass. All right, so I have scraped all the residue off, so it's nice and smooth now, um, which is why you got to mark the outside of the windshield so you can still see where the actual button was supposed to go. And the more I think about it, I think this might be from a toll transponder because I know that there are little sticky ones that are about that size, but still really have no idea what this is. But let me see if I can go and scrape that crap off too. 
Oh, and this is one of those times where having a center console is kind of annoying because it'd be a lot easier if I could kind of, you know, sit in this general area and work, but I have to work from either here or here. After a little bit of scraping, we've got all the residue off, and uh, this is why if anybody ever wants to stick a sticker to their car, I always say stick it to the glass, because if you stick it to the glass, you can always take a razor blade and scrape off the residue, because the glass will always come clean. Of course, you can't, you know, go digging the corner of the razor blade into the glass, because that's not good, but you get the idea. It makes it a lot easier to clean up, and then you don't have to worry about peeling paint off, that kind of stuff. So, there you go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up with the Windex multi-purpose thing, and uh, yeah. Then we'll get to putting the button on. Now it's time to get this button out of here. I'm just going to take the screwdriver and see if I can pop it out, but we'll see how this works. Probably going to need to do this uh, two-handed. And there we go. I have no idea if there's actually a tool you're supposed to use to get this off, but there you go. There's the button. So I just finished cleaning the back side of this button the best I could, and um, yeah, I guess now we will use the swab or the towelette, or whatever they were calling it, to clean this and the windshield, and then we'll go ahead and apply the, uh, I guess, the adhesive, and see if this bad boy sticks. All right, so from what I gather, basically we take this, we peel it apart, and according to the instructions, this is kind of how it works. You just open this up so that you can wipe it like this using the package. It's kind of an interesting concept. Never really seen that before, but... Hey, I guess it'll work. We'll see how it works. All right, so we got that. There we go. And then I'm supposed to wait, I don't know, a solid minute to let it dry, I guess. And of course you can't touch the surface once you've cleaned it. All right, now I take one drop of, of it, eh, one droplet of adhesive, put it on here, and then to the windshield. There you go, stuck to the windshield. Then, according to the instructions, I'm supposed to, I guess I'm supposed to hold it firmly in place for one minute, uh, which I already screwed up. Should probably read the instructions more. Whatever. Holding firmly in place. Kind of hard to see, but there it is from the outside. It uh, is adhered to the windshield. Probably should have used a little bit more than just a drop, but eh, it looks like it's on there. All it's got to do is hold the mirror on, so that's, yeah, good enough. That, and at some point, the windshield will probably get replaced anyway, because that one's cracked. Well, now I got 30 minutes to burn before I can go ahead and snap that mirror on, and we'll see if the button holds. Yeah, sounds like a good plan, right? Maybe? So it's been about 30 minutes. We will see how hard it is to pop the mirror onto this thing and see if I end up popping the button clean off the windshield. Because that wouldn't be any fun. So I don't know if there really is a good way to put this on here, but I'm just going to try to snap it on and see what happens. So I don't know. I'm sure there's some windshield guy out there that's going to tell me you're doing it wrong. But we will see. Well, I can tell you the, uh, the, <laughs> the little metal button stuck. So, because uh, I was really pulling on it and cranking on it, trying to get the thing to pop into place, and it, it went. It just, wow, that's a pretty strong adhesive. Not going to lie. Pretty impressed, but there it is. It is reattached to the windshield. Magic, I put the light back on. That didn't work the way I thought it would. <laughs> ah, physics. Well, that was fun. Gave it a little too much uh, force and popped it clean off the windshield. So we will try this again. I think what I'm going to do is instead of mounting it where it's supposed to be, I'm going to go a hair lower just so that the light clears it a little bit easier. That's how it goes sometimes. You live, you learn. I just floored a man the hell out of this. Oh, yeah. All right, while I'm sitting here mashing this button, I was looking up at my very unique, uh, I guess you'd call this ticket light, but this vehicle's never been using, used for tickets. I noticed that it's actually made by Havis Shield. 
So there you go. For those of you who are wondering. Yeah, it's got red, white, or clear, or whatever you want to call that. Kind of a unique uh, interior light there. Of course, you got the stock one right there, but yeah, I don't have the, uh, the quote-unquote ticket light. I've got whatever this is, and this is pretty cool. I like it. Very unique. I don't think I've ever seen any of these in anything else, ever. All right, try number two. Got it back on here. Got it glued on pretty good. This time I used a bigger drop because it only says one droplet, and they're pretty psychotic about the way they write it on there. So I didn't use a real big drop. This time I put uh, probably the equivalent of two drops on there. It actually looked like the adhesive went all over the button the way it's probably supposed to. So that will probably help. And then uh, I had this epiphany where I realized, you know, there's other screws in these. I don't know if it's going to even focus, but... uh if it'll let it focus. There's another little screw in this. I could loosen this up and turn these sideways and then I won't be torquing so damn hard on everything. But whatever, you live, you learn. Let's get the uh, mirror back on and get the lights back in place. What would I do with the mirror? Oh, it's over here. I think it's been like 45 minutes, so this should be nice and adhered, maybe. All right, that's on there now. Now let's uh, let's think this through this time and actually loosen this up a hair. Loosen this up a hair so that these can now move a little bit. Ah, see how much easier this goes in when you actually think about it a little bit instead of just floor demanding the hell out of everything. And there we go. Got it back on and didn't break anything this time, so that's probably a good thing. There you go. You can see the mount right there in the middle. If you look really close, you can see that the glue didn't adhere 100% because there's still some stuff up here at the top that didn't glue 100%, so this mirror may end up falling off yet again, but we'll see. So there we go, did some maintenance to the uh, Crown Victoria. Got the uh, mirror back on, it fell off last summer and I just hadn't got around to putting it back on, but now it's on. You guys got to see the video of the mirror going back on if you ever need to, I guess, replace um, the little button or re-glue the button. Now you can see how it's done, sort of, and how not to do it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for checking out the video, thanks for stopping by. Leave a comment if you want to, and uh, love to each and every one of you. I'll see you on the next video.